Jürgen Klopp has faced the press this morning here at Melwood ahead of Liverpool's forthcoming weekend fixture at Stamford Bridge on Sunday against Chelsea. Liverpool, of course, five points clear at the top of the Premier League, uh, but coming into this weekend on the back of their first defeat of the season in the Champions League on Tuesday night to Napoli. Well, Jürgen was fairly uh, philosophical about defeat. He uh, conceded uh, really that it was a mature performance, uh, a game that you don't always expect to lose, but that the perhaps didn't create maybe enough uh, chances or clear-cut opportunities. Uh, in terms of injuries, Navi Keita is back in training. He's trained for the first time today. Allison continues to make progress, but is not yet training with the squad. He's spent a, a, uh, an important session this week with John Atterberg. And Divock Origi, who of course was injured in the uh, last Premier League outing, not been totally ruled out, but we're told it's unlikely that he'll make a performance, uh, make an appearance rather. Speaking uh, of uh, injuries. There was a question really regarding uh, Manchester City's loss of two key centre-packs, Laporte and Stones, and how Liverpool would react in a similar situation. Uh, Klopp seemed pretty relaxed about the situation. He's pointed out that in his opinion he has four world-class centre-backs, not just Virgil van Dijk, and he would uh, he would cross that bridge when they came to it really. So um, he had uh, words of praise for Frank Lampard, Chelsea manager, and uh, his uh, former students Christian Pulisic. He um, said the Chelsea are basically a good good side but a young side and obviously he'll be going there hoping to pick up another three points and maintaining that five point gap at the top of the Premier League. So uh, a big match for Liverpool this weekend. It's on Sunday at 4.30 at Stamford Bridge. Uh, they go there with a record of having only beaten uh, one of the top six away from home uh, uh, since uh, beating Chelsea in September 2016. That's not a record they'll be particularly proud of and something they'll be putting to look straight on Sunday I'm sure. Richard Garnett for Team Talk and Melwood.